it's Faye. Today I found a new, less painful product to dissolve your clogged pores. Let's see how this goes. I was scrolling through Amazon and found this anti-blackhead clear kit that sums up to be a blackhead clear and pore tightening mask pack by CMP Laboratory. I thought it was going to be a blackhead strip, but nope, I was wrong. So the pack comes back to back. As you can see, there are 10 pieces of each, so that gives you 10 uses. Wow, I can math. The white pack also holds these perfectly aligned q-tips that have a funky shape to it. Kind of looks like giant ants. Ew, I hate ants. Moving on. You have a set of English directions which is prone to be thrown out. Please recycle. Here you have step one which is the blackhead mask and on the other side you have step two the pore tightening mask. Moving on to the real deal and not that that was fake. Let me just give you some insight so we understand the conditions this nose has been in. I tend to like to update you guys on my nose anyways. This nose has not been exfoliated since mid-September. I think the last time I used an exfoliating pad was with my friend Soy in LA. Hello, that's a long time ago. I cleansed my face twice a day so it didn't bother me until I came back from Korea and Hong Kong and realized, wow, you've gone through a lot, poor nose. You shall be redeemed. And now we're here. So, as I said, I thought this was going to be a blackhead strip wrong. This strip was soaked and soggy. I kind of like that. It glues right onto you as soon as there's contact of skin. Don't be startled. You will feel a minty cooling sensation on your nose, but it's not burning. You kind of know when you brush your teeth with spicy toothpaste, I mean very minty, you know, toothpaste, and you suddenly inhale a good chunk of air and it tickles your pickle. That's the feeling. <laughs> also, it has a distinct smell, almost like a processed Asian medicine, but fresh. It feels like how it smells. I don't know how to translate that. Anyways, let me give you a quick rundown as we wait. This strip is going to remove blackheads and oil buildup. I'm kind of skeptical. In case you forgot, my name is Oily. Oily? The natural ingredients are to softly dissolve blackheads as it saturates into your clogged pores, so breaking up the particles. Again, we'll see. Apparently, you're able to physically see visible effects of unexpanded pores, which makes sense since pore strips are said to expand the pore walls. 10 minutes later, we're ready to use those ant-looking q-tips. Take notice that there are little white residues all over my nose, and I can't figure out whether or not that is my trash or or not because I did have a dusty nose to begin with. As soon as I wiped down my nose, look, do you see that? I'm sure half of it is me and the other half is not me. There's no way this product melted everything and brought it to the surface. However, I must say I kind of did feel strip one saturating and breaking up surface skin cells, especially with that sensation earlier. I'm sure something was happening. Usually when I press my nose together, there's definite sebum shooting out. This time around, none. So half of me was convinced that my oils were broken down, if not, at least some. Already, you can see how clear my nose pores are. Trust me, they weren't like this before. The results show on the ants. Clearly, all that was not me. There was definitely some kind of film on that first strip that dried and rubbed off. However, I do claim that half of that had to be the dead skin cells on my nose as the solution was exfoliating. The texture to step two is a lot thicker. This almost felt like an emulsion. This contains a CNET and witch hazel extract that are known to effectively tighten the pores. If you did get any irritation from earlier, this step is to help soothe and calm you down, Linda. When we're moving, your nose will be coated with a layer of glaze. Just tap it in for absorption and you're done. So, my conclusion here tells me that the first step does break down clogged pores, oil buildup, aka spacious filaments, and surface dead skin cells. However, this product tends to work more externally than internally within the pores. I almost want to compare it to an exfoliating peeling gel, but just more microscopically concentrated for the nose. Does it work? The golden question. Debatable. If you want this to instantly remove blackheads not gonna happen if you want to prevent future blackheads 
Yes, perfect. I think if you add this to your skincare routine at least once a week, this can potentially help you stray away from huge blackheads and overly clogged pores. And think of it, 10 strips means 10 weeks. So ultimately, it's up to you to take pore care seriously or not. Wow, that got deep real fast. Do I recommend it? Yes, I actually do. I think we tend to look for quick solutions when we see blackheads and whiteheads, but never try to prevent it, especially after using a blackhead strip or a peel off. I am guilty of that and I learned my lesson. So I just want to make a PSA that pore care is so important. I think this product does a very good job at pore care and can prevent future buildup. With that being said, that concludes today's lesson. <laughs> just kidding. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful blackhead pore videos. Until next time, I'm sending love. I hope you learned something. Bye! Bye.